What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and the iOS 9.3.2 is officially released right now so I wanted to make this video to give you some information about it and also for all of you who still didn't update to the latest iOS to basically tell you what's new, what's changed and if you should update at all. This update might seem very minor because it's just 9.3.2 so it may look like it doesn't bring anything but we've got some new things as well as many bug fixes. So as I said this is not a very large update, it's just about 80 megabytes. This update is very likely to be the absolutely last iOS 9 update. As we're getting closer to WWDC 2016, where we should see the first betas of iOS 10. So the iPhone 4S still supports the 9.3.2 update, because it will probably be dropped out with the upcoming iOS 10. So before I updated, I had about 800 megabytes available, and after I updated, I've had 1.1 gigabytes, so I got a couple hundred megabytes back. It's always great to get some memory back, because some unneeded files get removed. Probably the biggest change they came with this iOS is the ability to toggle night shift and low power mode at the very same time. In iOS 9.3.1 you wouldn't be able to do this because Apple believed that it doesn't make sense to have both of them toggled at the same time. Because the night shift takes a little more battery because of the screen getting more yellow and the low power mode saves battery. But in case you're using your phone in night and you're running out of battery, this thing is very useful. I am personally really glad Apple wants us to use them both at once. Some of the changes Apple claims officially is that 9.3.2 fixes an issue where looking up a dictionary could fail. And they also say that it fixes the bug that basically changed voices in voiceover. And some Bluetooth accessories had some audio quality issues when paired to iPhone. I personally haven't experienced it, but now it's fixed. Now let's take a look if nested folders still work. Oh yeah, it hasn't been patched yet and it works really smoothly in my opinion. Even better than before I would say. Interesting. So overall, I need to say that this is probably the most stable iOS 9 because, as I already said, this is very likely to be the last iOS 9 update. But on the other side, I also have to say that it can be so buggy at times and that can be really annoying. To answer the question if it pays off to go ahead and install this update, I need to tell you that it really does because the speed we've got with 9.3 is still present in the latest iOS. And not only that, but also the problem with night shift and low power mode working against each other, it really annoyed me and I'm so glad it's gone. So now we're getting pretty much to the end of this video. I really hope you like it and if you do, just leave a thumbs up on this video to let me know. And if you want to, you can check out my other videos and if you are interested and you don't want to miss anything, then you should definitely click the subscribe button. Have a really nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.